Good day. Have you tried uh, another way of running the analysis just going through the simulation compute manager? In today's session, I'm going to introduce you an alternative way of running the simulation for Moleflow Insight and Advisor. My name is Sachin Fulsundar. I'm a technical specialist at Autodesk and you can reach out to me or the LinkedIn page. So if you go with the normal way, usually I also do it. And with the normal way of running the analysis uh, that applies for the any of the solvers that you are using could be inside standard, premium or ultimate. I have the model ready given the processing condition and then I run uh, analysis by hitting the analyze now button. That's to open up the simulation compute manager and gives me the option whether should I run it with the local host or should I launch it onto the another computer if you added the computer. And with that, I am ready to launch the analysis. Versus an alternative way where we can use a Autodesk Moleflow command shell to run the analysis. When I say a command, it applies to the that gets applies to the Moleflow Insight solver as well as for the advisor solver. So once you are into the command line, it will direct you to the directly to the project folder that is by default is my document and AMI project or and followed by the version that you are using. And same is like for the advisor, it's my AMA, uh, my document and AMA, and it takes you to that folder. Well, in this case, you have to change the directory in which your study file is at. Like in this case, I change my directory to the to the folder uh, where my study file resides. Now, in this case, you don't need to create any project. We just need a study file with all the uh, prerequisites that's needed like mesh, you assign the boundary conditions like gate locations or the cooling lines, whatever you have it. And it's, it's almost like ready to run the, run the simulations. And then you have to type in command run study uh, like in this followed by the study name in this case my study name is the span underscore study dot sdy so it can be your name like a but run study followed by your study name dot sdy and just you have to hit enter it will start running the analysis with the command prompt now what's a, like an advantage of running a analysis or the in the in the command prompt over the simulation compute manager i find that you know when i did a like a speed comparison between the sgm versus the command prompt i could see a like a significant difference and but obvious because in the simulation uh, compute manager or a job manager we refer it it has to go through a different folders or I would say different services to be launched and then the data get transferred to your uh, to your machine. When, when I run a, like a same model and I could see a fill, filling phase, uh, it took me around like 224 seconds to uh, run the analysis and then followed with the pack analysis. And overall time it was like around like an uh, close to three minutes or so. That the same one that if I run with the command prompt, it took me like in one or five seconds and overall time was uh, almost close to like one minute. So it, it runs significantly faster in the command prompt versus the SGM or SCM, uh, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So let's see how does it works into the action. I have an actually a model ready. Uh, I run the same analysis which 
I showed it for the comparison purpose in the earlier slide and when I run with the SGM or uh, SCM simulation job manager or simulation compute manager it took me like you know three minutes to come up to run a, like a fill and pack analysis for an dual domain mesh with like 7000 elements let's try and run the same analysis uh, with the command prompt so to invoke the command prompt i need to type in like an inside if you just type it inside it took me like an auto rest mode flow inside command shell as i told you that by default it gets into your my document ami projects and probably you have to change the directory and uh, the directory on which i'm working is this directory i just copy it control c come back to here and cd and control v i'm going to paste it hit enter and as you can see that it has a uh, the study file just a study file is there in the folder i have not created any project i'm going to run a command run study space dust pan underscore study dot sdy make sure that you doesn't make any mistake when you're typing a study file name hit it and it starts running so if your analysis is back and you want to see the progress of it it temporarily stores the all the data in the folder you can see the temporary data is stored in the your ami 2021 project run study and, and it creates a, like a temporary directory now this is temporary directory uh, just running the analysis once the analysis is done all of your data gets transferred to the folder from which you have launched the analysis and uh, as we are running the analysis uh, it's uh, i think it's running pretty fast as i told you that it takes like less than a minute to complete this analysis and i'm doing it live in front of you and you can see that it's much faster uh, and once it is done uh, you can import the same file we are going to import the same file in that project and we can view the results so the all of your results files gets transfer into the folder from which you have launched the analysis while running the analysis you will not able to see anything you can see that there is no data but all the data will reside in your project as i told you project folder directory and analysis is completed you can see that this is like less than a minute it has taken and all of the data is uh, available now how to import these results file just go back to the mode flow and say import you are in the same command prompt folder that i have and i'm going to import a just study file you need automatically re the results attached to it gets imported you can see that now it is completed and you can that log is the same log that we have and analysis is completed with much faster time as compared to the scm or sgm coming back to the this so i would you know encourage to try out this alternate way of running and see how much difference in the speed you uh, see so try out the command prompt and uh, i hope you like the today's tips and workflow around the mold flow insight and advisor thank you for your time and talk to you again soon